plague could be older than previously thought. Scientists have unearthed data that changes current thinking on how old the plague is. Research published in the journal Nature Communication describes how scientists found the bacterium Yersinia pestis on the teeth of 3,800-year-old human remains in Samara, Russia. Researchers looked at the remains of nine people. Two of them had the bacteria. Yersinia pestis gave rise to the bubonic plague. The scientists used sequencing to analyze the samples and found that they predate current thinking on the plague's lineage, 3,000 years, by around 1,000 years. That puts it somewhere in the Bronze Age. Ever heard of the Black Death, Tomo sapiens? It's an ancient plague that racked up a body count of over 300 million people. That's what the bacteria they found could lead to back then. Researchers suggest that there was at least two strains of plague lineage floating around at the time. Previously, it was suggested to be one. Here's more on ancient history. A massacre? This will get demonetized for sure. This is Sand Biborg. A millennia ago, it was a thriving coastal village, but new evidence shows all inhabitants, every man, woman, and child, were massacred by forces unknown. The Guardian writes that, to this day, locals consider it a dark and dangerous place. They weren't researchers to stay away, but they dug it up anyway. Research published in the journal Antiquity details a 1,500-year-old attack on the Ringfort village of Sand Biborg and on the southeastern Swedish island of Åland. To date, three of 53 houses have been excavated and the remains of 26 people have been found, including children. One of these contained nine bodies. Those remains included mostly adults, three children, and an infant that were found inside. They were believed to have been slaughtered by raiders or a fire. Elsewhere on the site shows evidence of an elderly man who had fallen over a central fireplace. Researchers say he was unconscious or dead when he fell. There's 50 houses to go and, more than likely, more remains to be found. Researchers found a plethora of weaponry including swords, spears, and shields, as well as Roman currency and items. This part of Sweden was never part of the Roman Empire, but was influenced by it. The study writes the massacre occurred during a period of great unrest and migration after the fall of the Roman Empire. And it wasn't just people who got maimed. The remains of various animals, a horse, sheep, and a dog, were also found on the site. Researchers say that those responsible for the events at the site may have been trying to establish themselves as a new local ruling elite. So whatever went down was not an act of plunder, but more likely a show of force in the form of a calculated, brutal slaughter. What makes the discovery so haunting, as The Guardian reports, is that no one came back to bury or loot the dead. They were just left to rot. And there's still so much more to dig up. Scientists have only excavated less than 4% of all homes on the ancient site, and there's no telling what else they'll find. Scientists discover ancient ticks that fed on dinosaurs. Scientists have discovered a new species of tick called Danocroton draculae in ancient fossils. The name means Dracula's terrible tick. The ticks were found inside 99 million year old lumps of amber from Myanmar. Two of the ticks were found with a dinosaur feather, one was wrapped around it. Researchers say the finding is the first direct evidence that ticks fed on feather dinosaurs. Scientists suspect the feather belonged to an unknown type of dinosaur or an ancient bird species called Enantiornithine. This one gorged so much on dino blood, she bloated to eight times her size and stayed that way for 99 million years. Now that's an epic cheat day. Researchers find ancient megacity. Ever wonder what a Mayan megalopolis may have looked like? Well, aren't you in for a treat? National Geographic reports that researchers have uncovered an ancient 800-square-mile Mayan megacity in northern Guatemala. Archaeologists used light detection and ranging technology, more commonly called LIDAR, to uncover the area. According to the National Ocean Service, LIDAR is a remote sensing method that uses a combination of light, aircraft, and pulse lasers to measure and visualize 3D structures. This lets them remove the surrounding environment to show the scale of the interconnected area. Researchers found some 60,000 structures and said the area was home to millions of people. Caveman or long-lost time traveler? Scientists have unearthed something that effectively flips the table on everything we thought we knew about human evolution. The partial upper jawbone found during a 2002 excavation inside the Mislia Cave in Israel took scientists 15 years to date. Their research, which included virtual reconstruction, places the jawbone as between 170,000 and 200,000 years old. The oldest human remains on record were found at Jebel Irhud in Morocco. These are 300,000 years old. 
Many archaeologists believe humans migrated out of Africa around 60,000 to 150,000 years ago. The jawbone findings suggest humans left Africa 200,000 years ago. The jawbone contains five similarities to human jawbones. These are the small parabolic dental arch, an area of the incisive foramen. The finding corresponds with where the upper jaw and jaw ridge connect with the maxilla area of the human skull, as well as the position of the nasal cavity floor. If accepted as human, the jawbone could push back the history of human evolution by at least 100,000 years. Ancient Archaeological Site Facing Pollution Threat One of the world's oldest, and perhaps most important, underwater archaeological spots is at threat from pollution. The Sakak Tunes Cave System is located on the Yucatan Peninsula, south of Cancun on the Mexican coast. It is believed to be the world's largest underwater cave system. Recently, researchers found a network of 248 sinkholes spanning 216 miles there. Divers also found 9,000-year-old human remains, as well as bones from ancient elephants, extinct bears, and giant sloths. Archaeologists say that the cave system may be under threat from pollution. Many tourists use sinkholes for snorkeling, and a nearby coastal highway has been known to break apart and fall into the sinkholes.